Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on because I made this um, bright colourful journal for the lovely Jo from Creating with Jovi. Um, she has received it just recently, so I'm able to show it now. So I've showed the flip through of it, but while I was making it, I procrastinated so much on doing it because I've never made a cover with a gift bag before. I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to go about it. So this one night, I got all enthused and I put the radio onto the 80s station, turned it up and I just got to it. So for that reason, I didn't uh, talk while I was doing it. I thought I would just get on and do it. So I have a video here that shows how I made the cover and it also shows me sorting out some of the papers that I put inside as well. It's not the best video but I sped it up for you and I'm just doing a little voice over to tell you about it. So here I have this, it's like a file folder that has a window in it and I've decided to use that to put my cover on. Now you can see I've already cut the gift bag in half and I'm just figuring out how I'm going to attach it to the file folder. So I decide to cut down this one side of the file folder just a little bit so I can flip that top down and that'll make a little tuck and it'll also be a more obvious pocket in that side. So as you can see, I'm leaving the handles on the gift bag. Um, I like the look of it. Um, it. It is a bit annoying with the little bits on the inside there though. So I'm trying to figure out how I can adjust my envelope so that those little inside bits fit nicely. So the gift bag I got from a cheap shop here. Um, I grabbed a couple and they're absolutely beautiful gift bags. And when I saw this one, I just knew it had to go to Joe. So I, I got it before Christmas. So I've really procrastinated on this one. So I cut the envelope down a bit, or the file folder, I should say. But then I realised, well, why don't you put some sort of circle holes in it or something instead to make room for those little bits rather than continually cutting the envelope down? File folder, I should say. <laughs> I love these file folders. I got them secondhand from um, one of the garbage centres here. I bought a few packs of them because they're great fun to use with the window. And they're a neat colour as well, and you can write on them. So I used a circle punch to punch holes where those little inside bits of the handle go. I put it through two layers of one side and then just one layer of the other. So now I'm just tapering in these corners a bit, just so that they fit a bit neater when I stick them down. And I'm sticking this edge down. Um, that'll make a nice, neat edge for the journal cover rather than the cut edge. When I cut it, I had no idea what I was going to do, so I'm just sort of winging it. And then I clip it down with my big clips because it is quite firm and I wanted to hold it nice and tight while it dried. So you can see those little inside bits fit nicely now. So I'm just cutting off some of the rough edge bits so that it fits nice and neat. So I take the clips off because it should be nice and dry now. It seems to fit nicely. So I think the idea is to stick that bit that I've folded around on first and then stick the back side of my file folded down to the back of the gift bag. So I run some glue down that bit just so that it stays down. And then I run glue all the way down that edge bit so that I can stick it to my file folder. And that way it holds it nicely and I've got it well positioned for uh, when I want to stick the back side down to the back of the bag. And again, I use the clips a lot to clip it down just to hold on to it while I get on with the next bits. At least then I know the edges will be adhered nicely at least. So this will be the front part. So I'm just sticking this bottom bit up again. It'll make a nice neat edge on the bag. 
rather than chopping it off and having it all um, wonky because my chopping is quite wonky. Use the bone folder just to help press it down and spread the glue out. You can probably hear my heater in the background. It's cold as usual, so have to have it on. Now this little extra bit, um, I want to stick down um, to neaten the front up like I did with the back. So I'm just making sure that I've got it all ready to do that. However, when I go to do it, I forget and have to, um, you'll see, put it on. <laughs> I'm good like that. So I've let that first bit dry that I stuck together. Now it's time to get the back stuck down nicely. I'm swapping over because it's good to let the bits dry quite well before I get on with it. So I'm sort of going back and forth a bit. So I put a bit of greaseproof paper in just so that I don't get glue um, onto the other side of the file folder and close my little pocket that I have. And I just spread my glue over the whole back of the file folder. I'm just using my Hellman's glue as usual here. It holds things really well, so that is my ma mostly used glue. I had so much fun making this journal. I always think I'm not into bright colours and that, but I seem to be leaning towards making mostly journals with bright colours these days, and I tell you what, it's heaps of fun. Okay, so that's the back all attached now. Removing the clips from the front so I can get on with that. I love the picture of the flamingo and the colours are just beautiful on this gift bag. So the idea is to stick that over the top um, and that way I sort of have a seamless front. So I just trim that down again because some of the edges were a bit folded over and bulky. Now I think this is where I forget to stick the little bit on that I wanted to stick on. Um, the inside so that it matches the back. You can see at the back I've got that little bit that I folded over and stuck down that has the pattern on it. I wanted that at the front as well so when you open it up you've got the gift bag on the front bit. Now I went to um, hole cut there but it wasn't going to work with the circle punch um, because of the gift bag piece that's there so I just um, cut it out with my hand so that um, it leaves room. And I did that on both sides. Um, leaves room for those little handle pieces. So I stuck the little handle pieces up with some washi tape so they don't get in my way while I'm um, gluing it down. Bit of grease proof again so I don't stick everything together that I don't want to. And I just cover the front with my Helmars glue. And then I whack the front on. And I open it up and I think that's when I realised that I haven't put that strip on that I wanted on the um, inside. So luckily the glue hasn't dried and I'm able to quickly lift up the file folder. You haven't got much time with the helmers, so I was lucky. So then I just prepare that strip by sticking that top piece down so it doesn't move. And glue down that and whack it on and that will um, make it in keeping with the back cover. Or else it'll be just plain white there at the front, so... I think that looks a lot nicer. So I just re-stick the file folder down. So that is how I made the cover. So it was really easy actually. And I, um, you know, I basically did just cut the bag in half and utilize the bits that were there with the creases that were already there to make that. 
and I love that I was able to keep the handles on there and so when the journal's finished you can still pick it up by the handles because it's only a one signature small journal it's still quite light and you can pick it up with the handles which was really cool so I'm just taking the washi tape off from the handle pieces They do just sort of hang around, so they'll probably annoy Joe those handle pieces, but <laughs> I thought of all these different ways I could stick them down or stick stuff over them, but I thought, just leave them. <laughs> so that was my cover. So here, um, me, this is me organising a uh, pile of the pages to put in. So I basically just when I was going through books and that I'd find a piece and go, oh, I think this would look good or anything with flamingos or that was pinkish. So then I just set about cutting the bits down to um, the pieces that I thought that I would use. So that bit I only wanted to use the flamingo heads because I didn't like the rest of the page. And I love this pattern. It's out of a machine embroidery book. So I decided that I'd chop that down ready to use as a big journaling card in that back um, pocket that I made where I flipped the file folder down. So I'm just cutting that to size. So, and I um, ended up making that um, journaling card later on. As I said, I've only filmed me making the cover and organising some of the pages. So this is the only video there is on the making of the journal. But you, you have will or have already seen all the bits and pieces that I put in there. I found that um, little card, I got that second hand from somewhere, probably a second hand shop or something, and I don't know what I'd do with it. So <laughs> I looked at it, it was pink, it fit there. So I thought, yep, that's where it's going. So just whacked that on. I was in such a mood to just do stuff that night and not really think about it, which is great because usually I think too much and scare myself out of doing anything. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you um, share that trait with me. <laughs> so that's, uh, I made a little tuck spot with that so that something could be slipped in there as well. So this is just a box of stuff that I've just thrown aside that was a possibility to use in the journal. So I'm just going through, really looking for mainly like the pages at the moment. So bigger pieces. Now you can see here, I've got some book pages, um, papers that have been gifted trying to figure out if that stuff would work as a page folded but it's odd stuff so it's probably better for embellishing so i've got magazine pages a bit of old scrapbooking paper just all sorts of stuff that's a pattern out of a magazine or something so i ended up using most of what i'm pulling out there I love that picture out of a kid's book, the number one with the flamingo. That's some wrapping paper that someone gifted me. It's a page, the scrapbook page out of a Dame Edna Everidge book. And I thought that's really cool to put into a journal, how it says scrapbook. I think there's some Daphne's diary there. And thank you to anyone who's gifted me any of these pages. I'll never remember who gave me what. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'll just say, say a general thank you to everyone. So now I go through and I like to think about what page is going to go with the front cover the colours and what would be a nice sort of starting page. I usually do that when I'm making my journals. I like to see how the pages go together with each other. That one says, have a nice day. And I want to get that have a nice day um, in the journal so it can be seen. And as you can see, um, if I fold it in half, it would be folded where it says, have a nice day. So 
I fold it off centre so that I can still have that saying um, showing in the journal. And I really like the yellow edges on that page, so I like the fact that they sticked out a bit, or stuck out a bit, I should say, proper English. I like that page, it's not even about flamingos, but it's got this um, pink ice cream on it and it's really bright and colorful, so. beautiful magazine picture or out of an encyclopedia or something of flamingos and I love the uh, color of the sunset as well as the nice and purple pink so I thought that page would be nice both sides but of course I wanted the whole flamingos on one side so I didn't bother about getting all the pages even size for this journal and I like how that sort of fits perfectly in that square there, so. I think that's some vellum I've got that's really pretty, so I decided just to fold that as a page as well. I left a lot of the pages blank. Um, I figured Jo, as she does a lot of glue booking and journal making, might have fun sticking her own bits and pieces in it. So I think that's a vintage or even antique uh, little joke that come out of a book about flamingos, so. And then my scrapbook page, I wanted the word scrapbook near the front of the book because it is sort of like a scrapbook. So I fold that so you can see the title. It's amazing what you find out of um, junk books that you're pulling apart that just fit perfectly into projects. That's just a diary page from a cute little kawaii, I think it's a kawaii diary that I have decided I wanted that as my centre page so you could see the Monday to Friday all together. That was out of an art magazine that I had here. It's really nice, thick, almost cardstock that is, and I just love the colour on it, and I love the picture of the castle. So I thought that would be a great page to add. It's nice and firm to stick embellishments on. another diary page, a schedule page. I like that it's blank on one side so you can do lots of writing on it. I think that's a page that someone gifted me out of a Frankie magazine or something like that. So I'm just going through and arranging the pages where I think they look nice together. So that's where my video ends. Um, so that hopefully that was helpful to some of you that might like to make a journal cover out of a gift bag and it just shows my process on putting some of the pages together. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have heaps of fun, happy crafting and see you soon. Bye.